Hey guys, what's up? It's Amina. So today I'm going to be doing a Q&A. So I got all these questions from Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, my name is Amina Tafari. You need to follow me because your girl is traveling soon and I'm gonna be posting all sorts of Instagram stories and all that. I got a lot of questions. Most of them are like repeats or like, where are you from? And like, come on. If we're still asking where I'm from right now, I'm not gonna say anybody's name either because I don't know who wants to be private, who wants to be public, who wants to be unlisted, you know, I don't know. The first question is, why do you think it's important to embrace our heritage with the Sudanese flags? So, I mean, besides the love that I have for Sudan and Africa, I just think it's important to know your heritage in general because that's your identity. That's who you are. And if you don't know who you are, then you're just gonna be lost in this world. So I do think heritage is important. I don't think it's the end all be all, but you know, yeah. Anyways, moving on. Okay, so the next question is, why did you change your last name? Well, that's what happens when you get married. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't think normally Sudanese people, we don't have that tradition where you change your last name to your husband's last name. However, I never liked my last name because it was a fake last name, okay? In Sudan, there's no such thing as like a last name, for example. Everybody goes by your name and then your father's name. So, you know, one of my parents came here and they were like, what's your last name? And basically they just gave one and it has no meaning to me and I never liked it. It's too long, too complicated. So I couldn't wait to get my last name changed. Not only that, I changed my channel name as well from Heart of Africa to Amina Tafari, just because I want I want to be able to have everybody watch my videos and I know when I have Heart of Africa, a lot of people will be like scared off if they're not African, so that's why, but I still, it's still gonna be the same content. Hey girl, my question is, do you still take your iron pills? I saw your video on your anemia a long time ago and I realized I had a deficiency too, so I was wondering if you still take them because you can overdose or if you just eat foods with iron because I'm struggling, thanks. Really quickly, I actually, don't take those iron pills anymore. That's because I'm actually taking a prenatal supplement at the moment and it already has iron in it. I tested my iron levels recently. Alhamdulillah, my hemoglobin was 11.8, so I'm good with the iron for now. But yeah, I'm not taking those, but I would, because they're still really good. Why don't you make Sudan videos anymore? <laughs> I, to be honest, make videos that you guys want to see. So the videos that get the most views, that's what I'm kind of staying with. Right now, you guys love my vlog, so I'm trying to keep vlogging. I'm not trying like to not make Sudan videos, it's just that those videos don't get as much views as my other videos. Will you post about how to cook certain Ethiopian dishes? Tibs, shido, et cetera, et cetera. I would, yes, definitely. Um, I'm not that great at cooking Ethiopian foods. Like I just try, but I already did Dorowat. But yeah, definitely more food videos will be coming soon. I just wanna make sure that I perfect it before I put it out there. <laughs> Next question is, why did you stop vlogging on YouTube? Well, I actually didn't stop vlogging. <laughs> I'm still vlogging. It's just that my life has been really, really busy the past couple of months. A lot of things going on, a lot of things about to happen. So I'm trying to come back now and be more consistent. Will you ever do a How We Met video? I know everybody keeps asking this. Yes, we will do it. My husband, he's not like big on sitting down and talking to the camera. He doesn't like to do that. So I'm just trying to get like the perfect moment where I can be like, okay, let's do it now. So yeah, I didn't forget about it. My favorite YouTube channels? My favorite YouTube channels are vlogging channels. I love watching vlogs on YouTube because it's real and you can relate to real things. Really quickly wanna give a shout out to Abid or Abid is elsewhere. She's another Sudanese YouTuber out here in these YouTube streets. Uh, <laughs> she does vlogs that are so freaking like interesting and cool and she did a vlog during Ramadan like from last year that vlog is so funny I will leave it down below if you guys are interested love Abid love her channel another person that I really like is Hind or Hind al-Hajj of course Hin does really good videos too, very entertaining videos. Uh, I'm sorry if you are a Sudanese YouTuber watching this and I didn't say your name. I was just picking people like me, like people that live in the Western world that are Sudanese that make videos, but there is literally like a hundred other Sudanese people on YouTube. 
What's your favorite Ethiopian food and what kind of music do you like? My favorite, mm, that's hard because I like a lot of Ethiopian foods. The funny thing is in the beginning, I could not eat the majority of Ethiopian food because I couldn't eat spicy food. However, guys, I am a living testimony that if you train yourself, you actually can eat spicy food. As far as my favorite, favorite Ethiopian dish, I think it's gonna have to be gomen bisiga. Gomen bisiga, I think so. Cause that, oh my gosh, when I had it, I just, I couldn't stop. As far as music, recently, to be honest, I haven't been listening to music like that. The only thing I listen to nowadays is Ethiopian or Sudanese or Nigerian, like some African music. I completely stopped listening to Western music completely, completely, completely. <laughs> if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? I have definitely thought about this question before. I would live right here in Dallas, Texas. When I think of it, um, LA or New York are nice places to live for opportunity and all that, but they're very, very expensive. On top of that, New York, forget about it because the winters, no, I can't deal with that. For me, Dallas is the best of both worlds because you have the opportunity down here. It's not very expensive. You can do a lot. It's beautiful. There's so many different kinds of people here, so much diversity, so many different restaurants, anything that you could possibly need. I personally love Dallas. I love the culture as well. I've always loved the Southern US culture. Who is my best YouTube friend? My best YouTube friend and definitely the person that has been the most supportive since I started YouTube is Maaz Osman. Why don't we just ask him right now? I mean, I be telling lies, man. We're not friends, man. We're not best friends, man. Lies? We're family. We're actually a family. Oh yeah, that's your answer to the question. Back to you, Amina. What kind of camera do you film on? So usually when I'm sitting down like this, I film with my Canon 70D. This is the lens that came with it. It's an 18 to 55 millimeter lens. However, I don't recommend it. I have the Sigma 1.8 millimeter lens. I haven't used it yet because to be honest, I haven't been using this camera recently. I have been using my vlogging camera for everything. It's smaller, it's easier to use. I find the can the quality is the same as this one. I don't know. I feel like I just I'm I don't know how to use this to its fullest potential, but for me I'm just, it's just it's literally gathering dust. But this is what I use. It's a good camera, don't get me wrong. It's a great camera. However, like the one I would recommend is the Canon G7X Mark II. That's my vlogging camera. That's what I'm using right now. You see how crispy this quality is. The audio sounds good too, even though I do. When I sit down like this, I film with the external audio. I'll show it to you guys. This is the Zoom H4n. But normally when I'm vlogging and stuff, I just use the audio from the Canon. It sounds good. It's good enough. So yeah. What is one thing you love and hate about marriage? The one thing that I would say I definitely love is always having somebody there. You're kind of like, you always have your best friend there. Before I was with my husband, I had my own apartment for years. I was independent and to be honest, you get lonely, man. Like it's so nice to be independent, but it definitely felt lonely, especially because my mom was in Sudan. There wasn't really anybody here except for my sister. So that's personally one thing that I love about marriage is just always having that special somebody. One thing that I hate, I would be lying to you right now if I said I hate anything. I don't. I'm such a pro-marriage type of gal. <laughs> I do definitely see a trend nowadays like with, with this younger generation. I definitely do see like a lot of people saying, oh, I don't want to get married and I'm going to be independent and da da da. And, I am all for being independent. That's great. I think you should be, especially as a woman, you should have your own money and all that. I just think like there's no amount of money or no material thing that could replace a human being. Favorite TV shows. My favorite show of all time is Game of Thrones, but that's not even coming on this year. I'm not like a big TV TV person. I do have a TV. It's right here, but I have this TV mostly so that 
I can Chromecast YouTube, so I watch my YouTube videos on here. That's most of the reason why I have this. I have never had cable since I have had my own apartment. Never had cable before, no need for cable. Do you like your hair curly or straight better? I actually prefer the way that I look with curly hair, but it's so much easier to have straight hair. Any advice for new YouTubers? My advice for anybody new is just, just do it. Just get up and just sit down. Get up and sit down. <laughs> whatever stand up or sit down and record your first video just do it because youtube is a learning process your videos are not going to be perfect in the beginning nobody likes their first videos it's your first time speaking on camera so typically you're kind of shy and your personality doesn't come through and all that the more you make videos the more you learn to sort of let loose and your personality shines more and you're not just kind of like a robot on camera <laughs> but yeah i remember the first video i filmed for this specific channel i was standing up had my husband holding the microphone like this bending down and you could actually see in some of the shots his hand with the microphone We've come a long way from there, you know, we've got tripods and lighting and all that jazz. That's just my advice is to do it and the, honestly, the more you do YouTube videos, the better you're gonna get at it. You're gonna learn all these things like lighting and what angle to film at and camera equipment and camera lenses and audio recorders and video editing programs. That's another question that I always get. I use Final Cut Pro to edit my videos. I have a MacBook Pro, so that's what I use. So that was everything that I'm gonna answer in this video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's Amina Tafati. Go and follow me, I'm gonna be trying to like update instagram stories every single day and be more active and blah 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 all right so anyways that was it for this video hopefully y'all enjoyed it i will see you guys in my next video bye